Hi everyone, thanks for watching this tutorial. The problem that we've got to deal with is this green screen shot with loads of fine detail hair all around the subject. And to make it harder for us, uh, this has been shot on an 8-bit camera. It's a Canon 5D Mark III, so it's really compressed. There's not much colour information there. It should be difficult, but we can still make it work. So let's go into After Effects. I've got the shot loaded in here. And the first thing I'm going to do is duplicate the original shot. And I'll rename that duplicate to Final Key. And I'm going to open it up, put it on the timeline. Then delete what's inside it and drag in the original, so the pre-comp that's got the original clip in. Then I'm going to duplicate final key and rename that to Matt Core. I'm going to duplicate Matt Core, rename that one to Matt Edge. Duplicate Matt Edge, rename it to Matt Combo. So now that I've got all these comps made, the first thing I'm going to do is look at the final key comp and get it ready to be keyed. So I'm going to go and find the advanced spill suppressor effect, drag that on, and if I take it down to zero, change it to ultra, pick the color from the green, then drag that back up. That's done a really nice job of leaving him looking as he looked before, but it's taken away all the green. It's taken away the green in his fur. Uh, it looks a bit too blue and a bit pale, so I think I'll go to the Lumetri color effect. Drag that onto him. And in basic correction, just warm up the color temperature a little bit so that he's a bit yellower and a bit warmer. So next, let's get the matte core done. And for this one, we're going to drag that same Lumetri color effect on and go to the curves and we'll just add in loads of contrast to try and get as much difference as possible between the subject and the green. I think that's better. Then I'm going to find the key light effect. Drag that on. Choose the green. Go change this mode to screen map. And when we're looking at it in screen map mode, anything that's black is going to go invisible. Anything that's grey or white is going to be left behind. We want to make the whole subject pure white and all of this background pure black. Open up screen map, go to clip black and then slowly increase that number until all the black goes away. Just going to do it enough so the black is gone. We've still got all this grey and detail in this part of him where the subject is. So let's crush that down and we'll just keep crushing until all of that goes away. There's still some of it there. Just keep it crushed, all of it gone. So let's go to matte edge. And whereas for the core, we were really aggressive. With the edge, we're going to be really gentle. So we don't do any grade first, just leave it as it is. Go to screen matte again. Open up a screen mat, get clip black. We'll just clip the black enough to make that grey across the top disappear. And I'm not going to do anything else to that one actually. I will add a little bit of softness. Screen softness to a two. Just to soften up the bits of hair that are left. Now 
I'm going to open up the mat combo comp, delete what's inside, put in the edge, and then put on top of that the core, and set the blend mode on the core to screen. Now we can see the edges come through. Now if we go to final key, drag that mat combo comp on top of the picture and set the track map to luma map. It's got rid of where the black was and just left the white. We make a black solid to put underneath. That black solid really shows us where the hair is. And the hair looks really rough at the moment but if we adjust the core we can bring the core in and reveal the hair. An easy way to do it is to go to new viewer, then go to the core. Now we can see both at the same time. If we go to the effect controls, shrink the core map. You can see it shrinking it and leaving just the edge map behind. And that looks pretty bad, but if we make it very soft, and then expand it back out, and just keep bringing it out until it fills up to the edge, and we get that nice hair detail. But his body is still filled up with this core. I think that looks pretty good. If we go back to the final key comp, set the RAM preview to full. We really need to see it in full quality to see that we've done it properly. So that's the RAM preview complete and now we can watch it. And it's not bad. The hair detail around the edges is quite good. Just plays through again. There's maybe a little bit of flicker on the edges, which has come from the flickery mat. If we look at the edge, that probably have a lot of flicker. Yeah, we can reduce that flicker a little bit by creating an adjustment layer above both of these and dragging on the pixel motion blur effect. Pixel motion blur will look at the frames before and after each frame and blend them together to create motion blur but it also helps reduce flicker. If we turn up the samples to the max, so it's looking at lots of samples, detail I'll just leave it 20, 180 degrees is the right shutter speed. Another reason to have pixel motion blur on is when objects move and you've created a mat like this they don't hold the same motion blur that they had originally. They have a sort of sharper edge. But if you put on pixel motion blur, it puts back that blur. So when you do your final key, the subject will look as blurry as it should look when it's moving fast. So let's go back to the final key, RAM preview again and see if that that really minor flicker has improved with the pixel motion blur. So now the RAM preview is finished and that flicker we were getting on the edges of the fur is much better now after adding that pixel motion blur. And I feel like the movement as he comes in and out feels more natural because it's blurred the mask as he comes in and out. That really helps. So he looks pretty good now. Thanks for watching this video. If uh, 
I've done anything wrong or you know a better way of doing it, leave a comment down below. And thanks for watching.